Softball also has a unique one at a time dispensing. In addition to that, it's got a very durable dispenser. It's got a stainless steel lock, and as you can see, the cover can withstand a lot of pressure. Nick, I think there's a better way of doing this. Um, who are you? Uh, my name's Peter Van Gills. I just came over from Europe. And you know how to sell this stuff? Well, we've been selling it for three or four years out there, and you know, it's my most successful product. So you got a better demo? Well, Nick, it looked like you were putting everybody to sleep there. So uh, let me do my demo, and let's see what the people think. Well, then there you go. It's all yours. Okay. Well, this is how we do it over in, the, uh, in Europe. And as you can see, still one sheet dispensing. I can see it's very hygienic. So the piece of paper I touch is the piece of paper I use. That's impressive. Now, tell me, how do you handle the cost and use story? Because that's a challenge that we're having here in the States. Yeah, well, I've got a demo that shows that really well. Okay, you want to show it to us? Okay. So, the average person per event would take three sheets. So if I lay out three sheets, Okay, and then they will probably take another three. Okay. okay, so that's the length of paper that we're using. Now, if only we had a, uh, a jumbo dispenser. I have one. Okay. I just happen to have one right here. So if I hold that and pretend I'm a wall, you take a, a, a normal pull. It's on two hands. It's really hard to deal with. Okay. Now, if you lay that out, Yeah. So there's your cost in use argument. So you don't use a spreadsheet? Well, you can use a spreadsheet, but the best way of getting this product on the wall is a trial. So do you have any hints on how to handle a trial? Well, what I generally do is, before I set up a trial and put this unit on the wall, I would go in and I would see how much product they're using a week of this. Okay. And then I'd say, okay, you're using six rolls in a, in a, in a cubicle. And then I'd put this in. I'd probably put a post-it note with the date and the time that I put the unit in, inside, and then I would ask the cleaners, if they change a roll, can they just mark down how many rolls they've put in it, and then I come back in a week, and I see how many they've used. And generally, it's a two-to-one comparison. So how successful have you been selling softball, Peter? I mean, it was my biggest selling product in Europe. So Peter, tell me, where have you been successful? What kind of segments? Well, obviously, you know, education, it's a great segment to sell this in. Okay. Healthcare, because of the hygiene benefits. Um, there's another one, and basically public areas, so stadiums, high usage areas, because there's a lot of capacity in here, it's very durable, so stadiums and, you know, public washrooms, Okay. great area. Now, next question, how do you handle this objection? Ah. When little Tommy decides he's going to push this paper back in with a pencil? Well, I know what you're going to do, and you know, my best answer is that the cost in use has just gone right up. They're in a the better system now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they can't get it. Yeah. But seriously, um, you know, do you check this stall before you go into the bathroom and make sure there's paper? I do. Yeah. So this is designed for a multi-cubicle site. So if there's like three or four cubicles, generally you'll check the paper. There's a lot of capacity in here, so you're not going to be filling out. You know, all four cubicles aren't going to run out of paper at the same time. So straight away, that really doesn't, you know, make a difference. The sure. cleaner comes back in, pulls it out, and away you go. Well, I'd like to thank Peter for coming. His demonstration was much better than mine. So now you've seen really how to sell softball, we need you to get out there and get some trials on the wall. If you have any questions, give us a call. We appreciate all your support. Thank you.